Elvis! Ew, gross. So some in there, you want some? Mm. Hey, there's another one of those rocker things. Nice. Ah, a broom. That's what I should have done in the first place. Yeah, that's wild. Howdy! Hi. We're back with the, uh, the, the four-door, the crew cab, the school bus. And it's really dirty and it's really gross and it smells really bad and we're gonna fix that today. So we're here with Dylan, we're in a shop. This is abnormal, if you watch my channel, you know we work outside in the dirt because we, uh, we don't like ourselves. We have luxury today. We have lights, we have a concrete floor, it's not a thousand degrees, and we have a really dirty truck that we have to clean. So, a bunch of garbage all over it. Every time you touch the hood, you can just hear it. It's bad. Right in my drink. I had nightmares about that. It's fine. It's better years than mine. That's protein. But we're gonna go ahead and vacuum everything out of it. We're gonna clean this. We're gonna try to bring this paint back. I mean, you can literally come up here and see, like, this is like straight moss that's growing on. So you can see I'm wearing gloves, and if you know, I, I don't really do much PPE very often because I'm <laughs> dumb. And uh, if I'm wearing gloves, it tells you one thing. So the interior of this thing is disgusting. I think from what we could gather, as I was looking around a little more, I think this was a white and blue combo. So you can see a blue seat. Blue armrest, blue steering column, and what's left of a blue dash. So I believe this is a Wimbledon white truck with option with a rubber floor mat, which you can barely see. Kind of see a rubber floor mat in it. there. Yep. So that's there. And it looks exactly, like, it smells exactly how it looks. The worst yeah. of it's like that. It's, it's bad. Yeah, and then. This is really the worst of it. I mean, we found all sorts of stuff, miscellaneous stuff. Like there was a letter for whoever took it to college, like was getting on academic probation, which is kind of funny. <laughs> And then there's like this, this is really cool, check this out. So I didn't even know about this. And it says like legal and illegal amounts and places to dump things in the ocean is basically what this is. And so like outside here, it's illegal to dump plastic outside 25 miles. In the so you can dump anything else other than Yeah, that. it's just, it's just funny. Like how there's three miles from the shore, it's illegal to dump all of these things. And then as you go further out, it's like, legal to dump stuff basically is what it is. Obviously- That's pretty old. This is old because this is not true anymore, but <laughs> still kind of funny. Marty found the CB antenna oh, that's inside cool. it. And it's a magnetic base, so it stays. Whoa. Yeah, so we put it on. So we noticed that. We, we, might find awesome. a, we might try to find a little flag or something to put on yes. it. I think that'd be kind of cool, but we'll, we'll route it through the back window how it's supposed to be or how it was. Awesome. And uh, yeah, just take a little, little gander inside there on the floor and look at what kind of stuff we have to deal with. Mm, and, somebody uh, left some food in here 30 years ago. There's yeah, a battery. It's pretty gross. It's actually very gross. So we're gonna we're gonna get down and dirty with this thing today. What, what is this? I don't know. Is that paint? What is it? Rector seal. Yes, it is paint or solvent cement. What is this? P oh PVC pipe. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. So yeah, that, that sounds like truck. a liquid still. Oh. And then we got a manual for the wrong hey, truck. Oh, it's a Ranger. I was gonna say it's the wrong year. And then some construction Whoa! paperwork. We found sparklers. Oh, man. yeah, we're going to light those. Yeah, we're going to light these. We're going to light those today. They're probably from the 80s. Should we just do it right now? Yeah, let's do it. Sure. Right. Take them outside and light them. Grab a lighter. Oh, uh, well, if you haven't seen the first video with the Saudi truck, uh, I actually dropped stickers on my website. These are a pre order, they're exclusive, they're a one week only. I highly recommend you go grab one of those. I don't know if I'll ever make them again. And if you want to support me in the builds, that's how you guys do it. I really do appreciate all your support. It's a pretty rad little design I had made up. They're six inches by six inches, and all proceeds go back into the truck. So head down to the description of this video, click the link, it'll take you right to that page. It would really mean a lot to me. And thank you guys a bunch that have already supported me. Let's get back into the video. I have the. Uh... Oh, there you go. Oh, it works. Whoa. Get another one. You gotta no, light the other one with another one. Box. You can light it with that one. I was gonna say. Oh, I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm excited. <laughs> there it is. Hey! Oh! Yeah! Look at that! What's your name? Quick, what's your name? <laughs> I'm gonna draw a wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now what do I do? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't... I didn't think I get this far. <laughs> no, I do. It's just really small. Uh, uh, there oh, we go. It's dead. <laughs> right in the face. Cheers. <laughs> God, ow. Well, we're off to a great you know what we should have done? Let's take the brake cleaner and make a fireball with the spark. Uh, oh. See, he's thinking with his whole head. He's thinking with OSHA in, in his mind. <laughs> this door does open. We found that out yesterday. It does? Oh, yeah, it opens inside. from the inside. I don't know what I'm putting my hand in, but it's... Hey. Kind of gross. Look at that. It opens good, too. Yeah. Mm. What do we got? Crunchers. Nice. Cruncher? February 11th, JF4. When? JF4 was a long time ago. Hey. Aren't they identical? What's that? The seats. Mm. Uh, yeah, it is. It's really I You so. could literally just bolt that one in the front if it's nicer. 
Wait, this one folds. Crew cab. This, Crew cab. This man's is using the other left side of his brain or right Does it side. Fold whichever. Too? Yeah, no, it did. Yeah. I think they're literally identical. Oh, In what's case, that? Uh oh. Is that a build sheet? That's not a build oh, sheet, no. Damn. Oh, it's somebody's phone number and address. Oh, it's because they didn't have a tag. Oh, no nice. way. That's, this was in the back window. Is it a temporary? For sale or trade? There Wait, really? Yeah. I'll call it. Hey, I have your truck now. <laughs> hey, I think we should swap it. Yeah, I agree. That's that awesome. That looks halfway decent. Oh, is there actually a build sheet over there? Uh, that? Yeah. Watch out. No, no in the top. In the top. In the seat frame. Yes. Go on the other side. See it? Yeah, it's disintegrated. I probably wouldn't even try to pull it out. Oh, no way. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. See if you can see that. You, can see you know what the only problem with trading these out is? Is that this does not have a back and this one does. Problem solved. Up in here. That's so cool. I've never seen the build sheet for any of my trucks anywhere. It's kind of disintegrated. I'm pretty sure I was stupid when I had my shore bed and I had a green interior, white with green interior. It was a sports custom. This is just a custom. I sold the seat before I flipped it over and actually like saw if the build sheet was there or not. So if, somebody, nice if someone has my really crappy old seat and has my build sheet, I'd like it back. <laughs> With my Marty report. So <clears throat> we're gonna get the shop back and get to work. I just tried to crank the windows down and watch the truck. That's me doing that with the window crank right now. That's awesome. Just trying to roll the window down. Well, that's, that's this is gonna be a very cushy ride, I hope. Yep. Pigment check. Yep. Pigment check. All part oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bud. That's gonna look good. Oh yeah, she's gonna be properly sitting. Oh yeah. That's perfect. We were also joking. We were like, because we have the steelies in the bed and they're like three different colors. I was like, okay, gray, white, or black. And then my F100 is black steely. So I was like, I'm naturally going to want to put the black ones on. And then Dylan, when we were talking, and I was like, honestly, the white kind of looks cool. So might stick with the white. I think the white steelies on the two-tone would look pretty good. Not only that, it's not going to come back on places like this, but this is actually like a, like a, a metallic wine red. It's not really maroon. It's just, this is just what it turned into. After 30 years on the truck. But it actually is halfway decent, so when we wash it, we'll see what comes back. But anyways, we gotta go inside. Look at that. I got a came with tools. Is that a Craftsman? That is a Craftsman three quarter. Where? That's quality. That was actually pretty nice. The wrench? Yeah. yeah. It's a USA one. Call me. I talked to your doctor. <laughs> nice. This is funny. It's improperly parked. We'll be towed. Hey, do you need another belt? There's a lot of these. Oh my gosh. The mud pies. Mm. There's so many of them in this truck, it's so bad. See, I don't know if I should smash the mud pies, but I figured they wouldn't try to kill me by now. Oh yeah, you'll be fine. So they're definitely all dead. Oh yeah. But uh, there's a lot of them. Like the whole underside of the truck is full of them. I just stepped on one. Oh, there we go. This has part numbers for all the stuff that's been changed. Head, really? head cover gasket, head gasket, ceiling ring, ceiling ring, rubber ceiling ring. Why are there so many rings? Piston rings. Okay, yeah, maybe somebody did the motor with the thing. But there is the part number for the gasket sealer, which is the obviously useful. That's nice. Children's Ultra Sunblock. What is the, what's the year on this? Is that a hair on there? Yeah, I can, that. Yes, that's exactly what that is. That's really gross. Hey, you want some sunscreen, Marty? Oh, sure, come in. Hey, it's still good. Oh. Yeah, you would rub that all over your skin, no? Uh, no. Moisturizer. I think the only good thing oh, no. that we managed to find in this thing was the, uh... oh, there's oil. No, nope, that, that's not good anymore. <laughs> oh, we actually did it. He actually did. <laughs> Go stand out in the sun and see if it works. All right, just stand there for a few hours and see yeah, if it works. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. He's coming back with a hole in his arm. <laughs> Okay, that's, 2050? That's good. Yeah, look, it's Kendall GT1. Oh, Kendall, nice. 2050, 2050. Cultured man. So that's all. Wow. Me. I bought the right oil for it. I, I was like, oh, it's old 2050. Yeah. Let's hey, go. You cheap O'Reilly's 2050. Big piece of Alfred. Wow, that's a really big piece of Alfred. Wow. Okay. Did you need something to hold down the air cleaner? I was going to say, that's pretty, pretty girthy. <laughs> a lot of gloves. You found the paint over there. There's a lot of coins in here too, like really old ones too. Oh, keep all that. So this one is your money back. 1890. <laughs> the first penny ever made. Yeah. So the truck's so long, we bought more than one spool. <laughs> yeah, we got to make something happen <laughs> with the fuel go. line. 1964. 1964. So I believe I have my info right. Hey, I found a knife you're looking for. Found a knife? Yeah. Stain I need one. Stainless. Here you go. I need one for everything I'm doing. Here you go. Oh, thanks. A kitchen knife. 
Or if you find a wheat penny, I want it. A what? Wheat penny. Which is? <gasps> oh, you don't know what wheat pennies are? It has the words one cent. Yeah. And on each side, it, says, it has like wheat on it. I have a coin collection, guys. I'm sorry. I have a Hot Wheel collection. <laughs> I bought some at the Walmart after I bought my tires. I think that's a little bit cooler than a coin collection. But... Wait, you mean like this penny? A wheat penny? No, I'm just kidding. Ah. Hey, I found a hose clamp. We were joking about not buying hose clamps because we could find them other places. Here's a heater hose clamp. Yeah, just we'll save that one. Yeah, that was good. So we've got some old hoses, it looks like. Oh, it's a punch. Look here, that's a brand new hose. It we could use that. It is a brand new hose, actually. Oh, that. that's the lower. It's a that's brand a, new one. They never put it on. Shape, yeah. The one that's on is good, but we can still at least. There you go. Perfect. We're going to ditch this. I don't know why that's in there. This really was a college student because that's some stuff you Has before. to be. Like college, that's definitely some stuff you Has do. to be. Look, ZZ Top, Eliminator, and the girl's sign. Nice. Yeah. The oh, only things you'll need. Some more pennies. If there's any shift boot, that's definitely, there you what, go. that's definitely what that is. Perfect. We got a wire wheel, we can buff it. Oh, mm. nice. Santa's first stop. Ooh. Valid. Offer expires 12 99 Wow. wow. Hey, you think we can still think they'd honor it if we brought this? <laughs> like, hey, I know, even I, know, I know it's only 20 years old. I want something cool, man. Like a million dollars? Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's always. Oh, I found the door handle from the back. Oh, there you the go. The back door that got ripped off. We can use that. <laughs> so, oh, nice there's shifter, a lot dude. of this kind of stuff. Look at all the wasps. Like, we even. I was gonna say, there's I one, even, like, there's one in the dash in here. Out of how. Yeah, yeah there, really? there's another. Yeah, watch. Mud pie in there. Ah, uh, there it is. Nice. Yep. This thing's gross. Not the grossest I've had, but. No, yeah, but hey, still up for, there. For, for California, everything's just full of mouse poop. Here, it's trash and bugs. Lots of bugs. <laughs> trash and bugs. Uh, that's a lot of stuff we gotta put on it. That is a lot of stuff. Well, I see spray paint, that's all I can do. That's all that matters. Yeah, that's all you need to do. We can spray paint it until it's better. Yeah. Good for Everyone's gonna be like, wow, this really shows these guys' age. I actually don't know what that is. I oh, think these are just, uh, these are just more cassettes. I was gonna say, I think they're these blanks. Yeah. Ooh, is that a set of darts? Seriously? Yeah. Darts? That's it was in college. That is exactly what that is. is here, let me see. Oh, gosh. There's the, the little wings are on the bottom here. Ready? I think that's Whoa. why we need the wings. Not good. Wow. The wings. This guy was a stoner too. Oh dang. Maybe that explains it. Oh yeah, that worked now. Oh, right through the toolbox. <laughs> got some thick wood, man. I'm not Thank blaming you. I'm not blaming it. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what that bolt's for. What's that go to? The armrest in the front door. It goes right there. Oh nice. Here, let's take it in my pocket. This is a uh, Riesla Blue. They're paper for rolling cigarettes. I oh, thought, I thought it was gum. Not gum. It's the opposite of gum. Yeah, it's literally. It's the opposite. Literally the exact rolling opposite. paper. Huh. That's a big sig. Well, based on the darts that he played with, what does that tell you? This guy, dude, ZZ Top, darts, cigarettes, girls. This guy was partying hard. <laughs> Drop out of college? Dude. Yeah. Nice. There's pills right there. Yeah, but at least he had a crew cab. That he is true, he did cab. have a crew cab. They wanted to sell, I'm glad he did. Or, hey, there's the other half of the door handle. Nice, we'll just glue it back together. I was gonna say, put that back together like that. I think we weld that up now. That's so funny to me how like how a truck like this was like a college student. So a lot of times when we get older vehicles, they're like, oh, construction workers or old man or this right. there. Now that's a college kid that had this. Right. Thing. And that's funny to me, and I think that's sick. Can you imagine whipping around Chattanooga in like college with this thing? Parking must have sucked. There's no way he parked this thing. It's probably why I had a parking ticket in the yeah. backseat. <laughs> no way he parked this thing. That's so funny. Yeah, you clean that carpet, it'll look grand new. Oh yeah. 
Is this boat carpet? Yeah. Probably. I think they stole it out of their apartment. Probably. Right before he got kicked out. <laughs> that is satisfying. Yes, it is. Hey! Oh, Mar wow! Marty, I got a ladder for your heat shrink. I just said, there was a girl's hair tie with that lighter. Oh. Ah. Oh, he's got all of his big change up here. Look at this. It's all the quarters. And then more pennies. We penny, we penny. I was going to say, we penny. At least we got 75 cents. Hey, yeah. And some pills. Don't mind me. All right, we'll just, we'll just skip to the good part. There you go. Uh. You're actually sitting in that every day? I just did. That is true. What's going on there, boss? So we don't have a key, and you can't take these out without a key. So I unplugged it, and we only need three wires, which the yellow is constant hot, this black one's ignition, and the red, reddish pink one is the starter. So let's put that there, just in case I messed it up. And I hate shrunk, they're both red, but I hate shrunk it, so it looks like it's a different color. So let's see, let's turn this on. Key. It works. Is there power? Nice. Oh, brake light's on. Really? Yep. I mean, that it's a good thing. Works. <laughs> it means things work. And yeah. let's see if we have a starter. Nice. Mint. Look at you. Awesome. Oh, I want to grab the seat cover off. You can see our nice baby blue seat. I'm trying to get the rest of the, uh, the cover off. Take this all off. So we can either wash it or throw it away. One of the two. We now have a key. Yay, luxury. So you can see the inside of these original seats. So these are the front ones. It's, yeah, I was right. It is a baby blue. So you can see the baby blues here. Um, and this, the, the only downside is that seat's like to the frame over there, which is kind of bad, but we can just throw a towel over that. On this side, this one's literally perfect. There's not a tear in the seat. It's a little like dimple right there, but there's no tears anywhere. So the whole top of it's still in good shape. The whole top of this one's still in good shape. So I think we're going to do pull the back of this one off because this one's hollow. Throw it on here if we can. If not, you know, oh, big deal if it's open, who cares? And we'll just go ahead and uh, swap seats real quick, clean them up outside the truck, make them look nice and pretty again, throw them in and while we'll everything's out, we can clean the carpet. Actually, I'll go grab some carpet cleaner. We can try to clean this out because I don't really think, yeah, that floor mat is not really in great shape. So I think the carpet's a better better move. We'll try to clean it. That's so bad. Oh, 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 o
I just have to do the wheel centers on the front wheels. And uh, But for right now, while we're waiting for Marty to wrap up what he's doing on the front end so I don't lift it up and it's hard to reach everything, uh, I'm going to work on the inside of it a little bit more. So you can see it's actually like halfway decent. I still need to like actually, we haven't washed it yet, obviously. One of the things that drives me absolutely insane is a destroyed dash. And if you don't know, bump sides, you can actually pull this dash cover off and it will reveal a pristine, perfect original paint, assuming the dash has never gone off. I can guarantee that this one is not. This is a Wimbledon white truck, so you can see the original paint. Uh, kind of underneath it in different spots here and there but i can guarantee you when i pull this thing off it will have a nice pretty dash there so i figure if we are taking it to a show even though we're expected to bring a truck that is not completely restored or anything we might as well bring something that's i tried making nice so i'm gonna do my part to clean the carpet make sure everything in the interior looks good the engine bay looks good the wiring looks good all by him and uh, i might as well pull that dash off and shine that thing up and make the whole dash of the thing look really nice so we're, we're down to two days now we yeah. were at four no now we have two days so we still don't have brakes four days it's gonna run and drive perfect. We figured out a key and we're gonna drive it to the show. And it's gonna look good. It's gonna look beautiful. On top of that, it's uh, we killed the starter. The starter just spins, it's not engaging the flywheel. So we're either gonna beat the crud out of it or just put a new starter in it. So we don't have that issue at a gas station. That would kind of suck. And yeah, a bunch of fun. So we're gonna wrap this thing up, get it all cleaned up and uh, it'll look beautiful once done. All right, well, pulling the dash off. This is uh, one of those tasks I've done like a million times, so I know exactly where everything is, what you need to take out, what bolt size it is. You can pull the dash out on an F100, the dash pad, probably closer to 10 minutes if you're efficient. And uh, you've done this before, realistically, probably about 10, 10 minutes or so. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, give me about another three and I'll have the dash out. So it's kind of weird. It's for whatever reason, somebody like, it's like they were going to tub this thing. Actually, I think it was tub because that's what that overlay strip is. So it's like they slid it out, tubbed it. We're like, nah, screw that. I don't want to do it anymore. And then they stitch welded it back together. Or it's it's little, out. No, it's literally stitch welds right here. Yeah, I don't really know. It's kind of weird. I've never seen anything like that. But the front doesn't look too bad. There's just the little rut up here, which is kind of normal. That's the only downside with uh, those plastic liners. They hold moisture underneath them, which is not really what you want. No, yeah, so we're not smart enough to put a hole in there. Well, mine has a drain hole now, but. Yeah, this one has one here, but not over here. We're gonna <laughs> have to add one actually. Yeah, yeah. But so we'll go ahead and we'll kind of sweep all this stuff out, clean it up. We got the minty mount. Oh, that is, dude, that's really bad. Oh my gosh. All right, well. Don't worry, the fuel will weigh it down. Yeah. <laughs> you guys haven't seen our custom fuel setup yet. Oh gosh, it's gonna be great. You're gonna love it. So one of the big problems with this thing is these headlights don't work. Uh, and ironically, because it's bump side and if you guys know my own F100 has these really rad amber headlights, we wanted to step it up a notch with this truck. So we're gonna go ahead and swap these out. Uh, and actually, oh wow, nice. We have wasp nest in the headlight bucket. And poop. How do you get rat poop in a headlight bucket? So I'm gonna go ahead and swap this guy out. Very simple, <clears throat> very simple installation. We'll just loosen these guys right here. Get the ring off, try not to break it. 
All right, so these are the old headlights versus the new ones. So you can see these things are pretty foggy. I think actually this one doesn't even have like a bulb anymore. It's shattered. So you can see it's just a regular three pin face. And then these are the new Holly retro bikes. These things are super cool. I mean, it's hard to show like on camera the coloring of these things, but a lot of companies, you know, they have a film or something weird. And it's like this like really weird, like yellow color. This is like a true amber. You see the back, it has cooling fins. It's got a socket on it, LED, and you can plug it straight in. So I'm gonna show you guys just how easy these things are to put on. All right, there you go, that's super easy. These actually use like not even half the voltage and power that the actual halogens use for this thing. Super simple, super quick install. You can drastically change the look of a vehicle and you're probably laughing at me because I put the headlights in before we washed it. Still not done and we still haven't been able to drive it, but I need to start getting some of the stuff done. Very shortly, we will be able to push it out and actually start cleaning this thing. But uh, for now, we actually got our tires mounted up. Went over to Dylan's and him and I went ahead and mounted these bad boys up. So these are 16s, like a line Steelies, like I was saying earlier. Dylan and I went ahead and mounted it up. Looked pretty good. Went to Walmart, got some nice tires, ready to rock. We're gonna go throw them on the truck. It's gonna look freaking rad. That was good. What do you find young fellows up to? Dying. Yes. Yeah, I feel that. Me too. Wow. You going righty tighty on there? Uh, what am I doing? You are tightening. Am I stupid? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, you're filming my face. You are watching a professional at work. <laughs> it's definitely not me. <laughs> it ain't us either. Flashlight holder. That's supposed to drive three hours tomorrow. I haven't even driven it yet. All right, dead impact. Let's go. Looks like a proper truck now. It's proper, huh, Dylan? Yeah. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Change the whole attitude. It's actually See, sitting right. Everything. It doesn't have two different sizes, it kind of helps too. When that they're staggered help. sideways instead of forward and backwards. It does help. Yeah. Burnout. Yep. All right, here comes one of the best parts of the video. We're actually gonna finally power wash 30 years of junk off this thing. And uh, there's a little before shot. You can see this thing is nasty. And I definitely think it's gonna need this. So we're gonna go ahead and just start with just water. See if we can get all the stuff off the window. Window is really bad. So hopefully we can get it all off. This is definitely the dirtiest vehicle I've done. But that's nothing for Mr. McCool, I know. We're gonna go ahead and fire up the power washer. Marty's gonna go ahead and hose it off while I'm filming. And get after it real quick, so. It look like a completely different truck, ain't it? Probably not. Hey, for it.
Man, that's wild. We're not even halfway. I haven't even done the bed yet. But you can just see the difference. It has like a cool little patina to it, kind of. That is wild. That's crazy looking. This side is nasty. Roof came out okay. I'm still not done over there. This stuff does not come off. You have to have that power washer like three inches from the face to get it to do anything. Probably soaked my interior. Yeah, there's water all over the dash, water all over back here. It's kind of what I figured. That looks dang good though. That's so sick. This thing's gonna look awesome when it's done. It's all one color, or two to, two now. Yeah. It does look better. Looks way better, huh? Happy with it? Yeah. Aesthetically, not physically. Well, what about emotionally? Yeah. Mentally? I like in the middle of this gray area. Hey. Well, like better that. than zero. Yeah. It, it does true. look good, though. Yeah, it's not bad. Came out all right. Now you can really see all the troublesome areas. It's not bad. Yeah. It's really not rusty at all. No, it's not. That's oh, where. That Look at the glass. Oh, I know. You yeah, can the see glass. Out of it. Yeah, you can actually see. Oh my god. This is just like what the gasser guys do. The tinted tint. Yeah. You know, like the colored tint. That's what I did. I did that on purpose. That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's not faded. Yeah. Oh, oh man, our sparklers got all wet. Oh yeah. Dang it. Oh, oh I forgot that window. Whatever. I'll have to clean that one manually. Whoops. Yep, she's not too bad. Doesn't look too bad anymore. It's a little bit better than it did. That's all can we ask for. But uh, we had an alternator fail. So right now, we went, and went to go drive it. Everything's doing good. And then the, out of nowhere, the alternator failed. Hello. Hello. And uh, for a socket. we're supposed to leave in... Seven hours ago. Yeah, we're supposed to leave like three hours ago. So that's cool. Leave it to me and mess things up. All right, you guys. Wow, this thing looks absolutely fantastic. The before and after this thing is crazy. The funny thing is, is it's not even really 100% done, but in the time frame that we're allowed, it really, it definitely changes a lot. The roof, I think it was like black. The interior looks fantastic now too. See the blue? Marty's working on some wiring real quick, but the dash came out great. Everything just looks, the before and after, I just can't say it enough. Forgot to do this window, but it's not too big a deal. See inside here a little bit. Not too shabby, I will say. It's not too bad at all. Getting all the graphics on the back. You can see this thing's loaded up. Getting the wheels and tires for this thing was quite a task. Ended up getting two sets of tires and two sets of wheels and mix matching stuff around to get all the work. But uh, she's ready. Ready to go Ford Fest, so pretty stoked about it. So we got ourselves about a three hour commute up to uh, Bowling Green from Tennessee and the truck looks fantastic. So these before and afters with vehicles that have been sitting for 30 plus years, 20 plus years, always so satisfying. So if you got a vehicle that's been sitting forever, I highly recommend taking a power washer one day and just, just hosing it off, blasting all the stuff off, and it might satisfy you. You might be happy with it and you might want to work on it. So hope you guys wanted to enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like on it. I would really appreciate it. Comment down below what you guys think. And uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys.
We're driving it! <laughs> <laughs>